Hello internet friends, Sanction here. And in this video I'm going to take you through the 1993 Dark Side sample pack that myself and Billy Daniel Butler have just put together. Um, the link is in the description if you fancy checking it out. But what I thought we'd do in this video was just quickly check out some of the sounds, some of the riffs, some of the breakbeats, and maybe, uh, maybe get ourselves a little track going. Um, just to show you how easy it is to browse through and find what you need and get some ideas together really quickly. Um, so we probably won't flesh out a track, but we'll give it a good sort of 20 minutes, half an hour, and see what we can come up with. Um, but a lot of the time we'll just be flicking through sounds and yeah, see what we like. So let's crack on. I think first things first, let's let's pick a style on the drums. Uh, we go into the breaks and loops. There's quite a lot of different ones in here. Um, they're all uh, beat mapped. Uh, and labelled up correctly so you know what the BPMs are. But I think I want to go for something maybe a little bit slower. I've set my project to 156, so maybe around the one, 153 to 158 range. Um, so let's see what we can find. Let's... Yeah, it's more like a sort of like uh, time bomb kind of thing. That's always a good place to start, I find. And we're at 156, so that's a good start. Um, so I basically chuck that in. We know it's 156, we don't have to time stretch it or anything like that. Our projects are 156, job done, bosh. So let's, we don't need all that chuff there, we can do some chopping ourselves. Uh, yeah, let's, let's roll with that for a little while. I feel like we need another layer on top of that. Maybe we'll go for the name and um, maybe not as uh, distorted as that. How about that? That's the uh, the Eamon from. If you've been watching my videos, the uh, Amiga sound the Eamon that um, I made. Um, right, so we're not at one fifty six on that, but I don't want a time stretch. I just want to old school pitch it down to match and we can do that in Cubase. Uh, we know the BPM is 160 but we'll set this to tape and it will literally pitch it down rather than time stretch it or time compress it or whichever way you need to go. I also I want that second snare to ring a bit more as well. I know it's more accurate to use the second one there but let's see what that sounds like. So let's add that together. Right, let's edit our CM break to match as well. Look at that, it's a good start already. We've only spent three minutes. Excellent. That's going to give us some real old school dark sides. So sort of shuffle again. We know it's 165, even though Cubase thought it was half that speed. And we're going to pitch it down again. And because there's the kicks on that are quite heavy, I like that. So I'm going to take some bass out of the Amen. Um, here we go. Nice. Okay, so we could just now go into the musical sequences and pick a riff that is pre made in the sample packs, quite a few here. Drag that in, and job done, right? Instant tune. Yeah, 
that's fine, but let's see what else we've got in here. Those are very dark. like that for our vibe we've got going with the drums that's 158 we'll set that to there and we'll just time stretch that to match our project okay so that's sounding pretty good let's get a baseline to go with that so what we'll do here, here we go to sounds, basses. That's a really nice 808. So let's add that to a sampler so we can play it. And we look at this uh, riff that we dragged in quickly, Elephant Drums is in the key of A. So we know what, what kind of bass line we can play with that. Baseline. Put a click on, record that. a different section let's go find a cool stab that could be nice excellent put a few effects on that maybe a bit of delay better. Just quickly. 
quickly quantize that. my terrible plane. That sounds pretty good. So already, you know, we've already been going 10 minutes, we've got a cool vibe going. Got a mad droney string bit with a bass, we've got a cool dark stab sort of F project vibe kind of thing. So yeah, as simple as that really. Um, before I go, let's quickly just go through some of the, uh, the sounds and breaks and whatever we've got in here. So I'll quickly just preview a few of these breaks. Let's go from the bottom upwards, just for fun. Loads of uh, kind of choppy, skippy, shuffly, dirty, dark side breaks. Um, if we go into uh, sounds, we obviously had a quick look while I was messing around, but Some cool bass sounds. We've got these pads and drones. Got a bunch of old school stabs which kind of fit 
in this um, in this style. These are all pitch to C as well. You just whack them in your sampler, and away you go. And then we've got uh, some pre-made bass lines. Also got riffs as well. Plenty to get stuck into there. Um, you don't necessarily have to use it to make dark side, I guess, but um, that was kind of where our uh, our creative mind was when we made it. Like I said, the link uh, to check this out will be in the description. And until next time, I'll see you. Let's play this one more time. Look at that, making music's easy. <laughs>